My job on board would be to maintain the weapon systems and I'd be expected to take the initial action on if anything was to go wrong with any of that equipment. The point of the ship is to serve either defence or attack. Now, weapon systems obviously can do both, radar, anything like that. They all tie into one big system, and that is basically to protect the ship or other ships around us. So the ship's safety basically relies on the weapon engineering technician side. The most satisfying part of my job would be if I'm given a problem and then I'll get to sort it out. And once it gets sorted out and, and it's, everything's running smoothly again, it gives you a quite a buzz when you sort the problem out. You do qualifying courses which teach you quite a bit, but until you're actually there on board, in there with the equipment, and you walk away from that thinking, I know how that works, or I can fix that. Part of our duties on ship are anything to do with firefighting, damage control, and that way the whole ship gets involved. So you do need quite a vast knowledge of the ship itself as well. Once you get to pay officer level, I've already achieved an MVQ level two in engineering, which is pretty good. I can I leave the Navy for Foundation in engineering, I'll get a job anyway. As long as you're willing to work hard and be promoted very quickly, actually. My pay's all right anyway. <laughs> you always reap rewards, and there's fantastic opportunities for promotion, especially pay, especially when you're away at sea. You get paid more for that as well. It's almost like the world's your oyster. You can do you know, enough anything you want to. There's two different things that motivates me within the Navy. One's my branch and then one's the Navy life. The friends you make, the camaraderie, you're living with the people that you work with constantly. It's like your second family being on board.